Detroit bankrupt? I thought it was saved. We refuse to throw in the towel and do nothing. We refuse to let Detroit go bankrupt. Today I authorize the emergency manager for the city of Detroit to seek federal bankruptcy protection. From a financial point of view, let me be blunt. Detroit's broke. Some call this the dead zone. An area of near complete destruction many miles across. No schools or hospitals and few public services. Crime is the only growth industry here with a murder rate higher than that of Colombia. This isn't Syria, Afghanistan, or Sarajevo. It's inner city America. Welcome to Detroit. You know, it's hard to believe that there are places in the United States of America that look like this. I've been all over the world in the last 12 months, and aside from Mogadishu, I don't think I've seen any place that looks this bad. This is actually a historic building. It used to be the place where Packards and Studebakers were made. But today, it looks like a zombie apocalypse movie. While there's plenty of disagreement on the cause, there's no question on the result. Many urban areas are becoming virtual wasteland. Here in Detroit, half of the citizens are functionally illiterate, and some city officials say the true rate of joblessness is over 50 percent. I'm standing only about 100 yards inside the Detroit city limits, and right here I can see over a dozen homes that are either abandoned or burned out. They say here in Detroit there are over 45,000 homes like that, but the root cause may have less to do with the economic downturn and more to do with government corruption. More government assistance hasn't helped. Several Detroit companies received bailout funds totaling nearly $100 billion. Yet Detroit still has the highest rates of poverty and welfare dependency in the nation. That's what America is all about. get knocked down, we get back up. We come back strong. And as long as I'm president, that's what we'll keep doing. Yes, President Obama saved Detroit. With the help of local politicians, they decreased the population by more than one million people. They achieved a 50% functional illiteracy rate and they also achieved an unemployment rate of better than 50%. Our heroes.